Chinese Crested Dog The Chinese Crested Dog is a hairless breed of dog. Like most hairless dog breeds, the Chinese Crested Dog comes in two varieties, with and without fur, which are born in the same litter, the powder puff and the hairless. Description This breed is considered small, 10 to 13 pounds, 4.5 to 5.9 kilograms. At first look, the hairless and powder puff varieties of Chinese Crested Dogs appear to be two different breeds, but hairlessness is an incomplete dominant trait within a single breed. The hairless has soft, human-like skin, as well as tufts of fur on its paws, socks, and tail, plume, and long, flowing hair on its head, crest. In addition to being an incomplete dominant gene, the hairless gene has a prenatal lethal effect when homozygous. Zygotes affected with double hairless genes, one in four, never develop into puppies, and are reabsorbed in the womb. All hairless Chinese crested dogs are therefore heterozygous. The hairless variety can vary in amount of body hair. Fur on the muzzle, known as a beard, is not uncommon. Dotted true hairless often does not have as much furnishings, hair on the head, tail, and paws. The difference between a very hairy hairless and a powder puff is that the hairless has a single coat with hairless parts on the body, while the powder puff has a thick double coat. The skin of the hairless comes in a variety of colors, ranging from a pale flesh to black. Hairless Chinese crested dogs often lack a full set of premolar teeth, but this is not considered a fault. A powder puff has a long, soft coat. Both hairless and powder puff varieties can appear in the same litter. The look of the powder puff varies according to how it is groomed. When its fur is completely grown out on its face, it strongly resembles a terrier, however, the powder puff is usually shaved around the snout as a standard cut. The powder puff Chinese crested dog is an elegant and graceful dog who makes a loving companion, playful and entertaining. The powder puff's coat is long and silky soft. Ears are large and erect. The amount of body hair on the hairless variety varies quite extensively, from the true hairless which has very little or no body hair and furnishings, to what is called a hairy hairless dog, which, if left ungroomed, often grows a near full coat of hair. These hairy hairless dogs are not a mix between powder puffs and hairless Chinese crested dogs, but are merely a result of a weaker expression of the variable hairless gene. The mutation responsible for the hairless trait was identified in 2008. Care Both varieties require certain amounts of grooming. The powder puff is entirely covered with a double, very soft, straight coat. Although a powder puff's coat does not continuously grow, it can grow to be quite long at full length. A weekly bath and frequent brushing will help prevent matting. For an optimal coat, never brush when dry or dirty. A light spray of water or grooming spray to their coat is recommended before brushing. Many choose to shave their powder puff in a pony cut leaving long hair on the bottom of legs, tail, head and crest for an easy care coat. Powder puffs are very clean and have no odor. This breed has little to no shedding. Sea Malt Maintenance of the hairless variety's skin is similar to maintaining human skin and as such it can be susceptible to acne, dryness, and sunburn. Hypoallergenic or oil-free moisturizing cream can keep the skin from becoming too dry when applied every other day or after bathing. Burning can occur in regions that are subject to strong UV radiation, especially in lighter skinned dogs. Many owners apply baby sunscreen to their pets before spending time in strong sun. Some Chinese crested dogs have skin allergies to lanolin, so be cautious when using any products that contain it. Unless the dog is a true hairless, one with virtually no hair growth on non-extremities, trimming and or shaving is often performed to remove excess hair growth. The Chinese crested dog is further distinguished by its hair foot, having more elongated toes, as opposed to the cat foot common to most other dogs. Because of this the quicks of cresteds run deeper into their nails, so care must be taken not to trim the nails too short to avoid pain and bleeding. Powder puffs enjoy getting outdoors for daily exercise, although they are not a high-energy breed. They are great for apartment or city living, but being very versatile, also love country living and long hikes. Being a very intelligent breed, this dog does well in obedience-type sports. Consistency is a must. However this breed can be relatively sensitive and should have a gentle trainer. The powder puff is great at learning and performing tricks. Health The powder puff is not affected by many of the congenital diseases found in other toy breeds. They are, however, prone to some of these conditions listed. Eye problems such as lens luxation, glaucoma, and PRA, progressive retinal atrophy, luxating patellas, and leg perthes disease. The powder puff should have full dentition, 
not missing or crooked teeth, as is accepted in their sibling the hairless variety. Chinese crested dogs have what is called a primitive mouth. This means that most of their teeth are pointy, like their canines. Hairless varieties of the cresteds can be prone to poor dentition. Poor dentition may include missing or crowded teeth and teeth prone to decay when not properly cared for. Most dogs of the powder buff variety have few, if any, dental defects. Eyes are a concern within the breed, with many suffering from a painful and blinding inherited eye disease called primary lens luxation PLL. The Chinese crested dog can also have at least two forms of progressive retinal atrophy PRA, which can eventually lead to blindness as well. For PLL and also one of the forms of PRA, there exists a genetic test, to determine if a dog is a carrier, clear, or affected. PRCDPRA Since the test for PRCDPRA can only reveal the existence of affected or carrier status of this one form of PRA, breeders and owners of the breed should still have regular eye exams by veterinary ophthalmologists. The breed also suffers from another eye disease called keratoconjunctivitis sicca or dry eye syndrome DES. Along with carry blue terriers, Chinese crested dogs can develop canine multiple system degeneration, CMSD, also called progressive neuronal abiotrophy, PNA, in carry blue terriers. This is a progressive movement disorder that begins with cerebellar ataxia between 10 and 14 weeks of age. After 6 months of age, affected dogs develop difficulty initiating movements and fall frequently. The gene responsible has been mapped to canine chromosome 1. As with all other toy breeds, the Chinese crested dog can be prone to patellar luxation. This inheritable condition is caused by shallow knee joints, stifles, and results in kneecaps that pop out of place. Its onset is often at a young age, and can cause temporary to permanent lameness based on the severity. Breeders should have their stock certified free of patellar luxation. Many countries' kennel clubs maintain a centralized registry for health results. Allergy and autoimmune diseases have been observed in the breed. The severity of these ailments, which can lead to the premature death of the dog, means this is something breeders need to take seriously in order to avoid it becoming a problem for the breed. Healthy dogs have the following statistics. History Although hairless dogs have been found in many places in the world, it is unlikely that the origins of the modern Chinese crested dog are in China. The breed was believed by some to have originated in Africa and was called the African Hairless Terrier in several 19th century texts, however, there is genetic evidence that shows a shared origin with the Soloist Queenly. The current name of the breed likely comes from their use on Chinese ships as ratters. They are also believed to have been bred as a companion for people living with an intellectual disability and as such can remain healthy with little exercise. In the 1950s, Deborah Wood created the Crest Haven Kennel and began to purposefully breed and record the lineages of her Chinese crested dogs. The famous burlesque dancer Gypsy Rose Lee also bred Chinese crested dogs, and upon her death her dogs were incorporated into Crest Haven. These two lines are the true foundation of every Chinese crested dog alive today. Ms. Wood also founded the American Hairless Dog Club in 1959, which was eventually incorporated into the American Chinese Crested Club, ACCC, in 1978. The ACCC became the U.S. parent club for the breed when the Chinese Crested Dog was recognized by the American Kennel Club 13 years later, in 1991. The Chinese Crested Dog was officially recognized by the Federis Yun Sinologica Internationale in 1987, by the Kennel Club, UK, in 1981, by the American Kennel Club in 1991, and by the Australian National Kennel Council in 1995. Breeding The hairless allele, the wild type, is a dominant, and homozygous prenatal lethal, trait, while the powder puff allele acts as a simple recessive trait in its presence. Zygotes that receive two copies of the hairless allele will never develop into puppies. Thus, all Chinese crested dogs carry at least one copy of the powder puff allele. The powder puff trait cannot be bred out because it is carried by all Chinese crested dogs, even the hairless ones. All hairless Chinese crested dogs have the ability to produce powder puff puppies, even when they are bred to another hairless. On the other hand, a powder puff bred to another powder puff can never produce hairless puppies, since they do not carry the hairless gene. In popular culture, one famous Chinese crested dog was the hairless purebred named Sam. He was the winner of the world's ugliest dog contest from 2003 to 2005, he passed away before he could compete in 2006. Other Chinese crested dogs, either purebreds or mixes, have finished high in the event as well. 
Some Chinese crested dogs have also appeared as a characters in movies and TV shows such as, the characters in movies and TV shows.